In this video, I'll show you how to play games from your Xbox on your Android device. First off, uh, the thing that you need to know is that you should have a pretty stable internet connection. What I mean by that is you should have at least upload and download 5 megabytes per second. The other thing that I need to mention is that you must keep your Xbox on at all times while you're playing on your phone. And th th another thing is that you must be connected on the same internet network uh, from both your console and your phone. And last but not least, you must connect your Xbox controller to your phone. I'll show you how to do that as soon as we get over with the Xbox settings. First off, we start up in the main screen right here. We open up My Games and Apps. Then we scroll into Apps. We scroll to the right and locate the settings icon. When we get into Settings here on the left, we navigate through the menu and select Devices and Connections. Then we swipe to the right. And we scroll down once we go into remote features. We open that up. And here you, a screen will show up where you, where you will need to identify yourself. What I mean by that, you will need to enter a password or a PIN depending on what you have set up for your account. I'll be back as soon as I have entered mine. And now we're back. I have entered the settings. The first thing that you need to make sure of is that you have checked this and enabled it. Then the setting that we are uh, looking for is the second one, Xbox App Preferences, and open it up. Here on the left is what uh, is needed for the remote play. You can select uh, for between one and two for the uh, enabling of the remote play. The first one allows any device on your internet connection to be able to connect to your uh, Xbox, and the second one allows only devices that are logged in into the same Microsoft account as your Xbox. If you want to be more secure, I recommend you using the second one. And the last one is if you don't want anyone to use your remote play. Now that we have finished the Xbox settings, we can exit these and now we can go and take our Android phone. And here we are with our Android phone. The first thing that we need to do is open up Play Store. After we open up Play Store, we tap the search button at the top and in the search button we write Xbox. Here is the Xbox, we open it up and then we open up the application. We press the install button and we wait for it to install. Be right back as soon as, as soon as it's done. And now the application finished downloading, but before we open it up, let's make sure that our controller is connected to our Android phone. First off, we press and hold the Xbox uh, button or logo that is located on the controller. Then when we get here, we swipe up and we select the turn off controller section. After we have turned off your, our controller, we press and hold the pairing button located right here. When the Xbox starts uh, blinking right here, that means that it's ready for pairing. Let's take our phone now and swipe up into the app menu, locate the settings application, let's open it up. And as soon as we get into here, let's select connections. Then we go into Bluetooth and enable Bluetooth. As you can see, we are already here, and now let's, here it is, Xbox Wireless Controller, let's select it, and let's press Pair. Now we have successfully connected our Xbox account to, I mean Xbox Controller, to our phone. Now let's open up the app, let's swipe up and find it in our app menu, here it is, Xbox. And the first boot should always be the login boot. As you can see, here it is, sign in or setup console. Setup console is only if you have a new console, a brand new one. For me, it's sign in. Here you use the same account that you have on your console. Be right back as soon as I log in. Now, after we are back, we press the let's go button and we can skip this one because I have already set up my console. And here we are. We are inside of the application currently. To open up the remote play, we navigate on the home screen first, this is the icon for the home screen, and then we select the console right here. Now that we have selected it, we select the remote play on this device option. Now we should be loading into the remote play. Be right back as soon as we are in there. We are inside of the remote play. Let's take the controller, and here you can see I can move around using the controller. I can do anything that I want basically. It's mirroring the screen between the console and the phone, but my uh, input it comes from the phone. We can open up a game, for example. Let's open up Rocket League. And here it is. We, have, we are playing a game on our Android device using our Xbox. That is it for this video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.